guys, so today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys three super easy, super quick, affordable crock pot meals. I am personally all about crock pot meals, slow cooker meals, because I hate, like, let's highlight that. I hate to cook. I hate it, I'm not good at it, and I also work full time. I have three girls. I have twin five month old baby girls. So I just feel like I don't have time to cook. When I get home throughout the week, there is just no time. So if I can prep it ahead of time, if I can you know, meal prep or get it going earlier in the day, that's just so much easier for me and so much easier for my family. And also eating healthy is important to me. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys three of those meals, um, one today and then over the next couple of days. They all happen to be chicken. Now, it just happened to be that way. We do love chicken the most, but if you guys like crock pot cooking and you like recipes, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because you better believe that I'm gonna be making a lot more videos with crock pot cooking. If you guys are here, I'm sure you're looking for some recipes. Well, I wanna learn from you guys as well. So what I want you to do is let me know down below what your favorite crock pot slow cooker meals are because we are in need. I know the fall season is coming. The winter season is going to be upon us and we're gonna be cooking because in the summertime we cook a lot on the grill. So I need some ideas. You guys let me know down below your favorite slow cooker meals and I'm gonna keep pumping these videos out if you guys like them. And I guess let's get to cooking. I have three crock pot recipes to share with you guys today and the last one that we tried crock pot Tuscan chicken was our absolute favorite so make sure you stick around until the end. This recipe I was super excited to try out because I make a recipe similar to this and it's one of my go-tos, one of my absolute favorites. I just, when you add black beans, corn, and tomatoes together, it's just a meal I always enjoy. It always keeps me full and I know it's healthy. So I started out by chopping some cilantro and scallions and I am not an expert cutter or chopper. Is cutter even a word? I hate doing it and if you've watched some of my past videos, you know a lot of the time my husband does it for me. Once everything was chopped up, I threw it in with some diced tomatoes and green chilies, some black beans that were drained, some chicken broth and everything else that I chopped up, corn, some seasoning, and the chicken. And all of the exact ingredients and everything that I use will be in the video's description with a link. So if you guys wanna make this, you know exactly what I used. I plan to make so many more recipes using my crock pot here in the fall and the winter. And a lot of you guys are telling me that you don't want summer to end, but I am welcoming fall with open arms. So let me know, are you team summer holding on or are you team fall? Let me know because I wanna see which one wins. Then the last step was I just placed some chicken on top and cooked it on low for about eight to 10 hours, or you could do on high for four to six. And then about 30 minutes before it's done, I pulled the chicken out, shredded it, and then put it back in the crock pot for another 30 minutes to finish up cooking and soaking up all of the flavor. And we had planned on serving it over rice. Rice is kind of my go-to personally. And I just used the microwavable bag of rice to keep it simple, but you could also put it in a tortilla to eat it or eat it just as is for more of a low carb option.
ready to eat dinner now and this is the meal out of all of the crock pot meals I'm doing this week that I was super excited about just because anything I feel like when you add black beans and corn together it's one of my favorites so this one so far is super good and I just love it because it's healthy and it's easy to throw together what do you think good do you like it mm -hmm. what's your favorite part the chicken yeah she had some blueberries but did you eat all your blueberries first yeah so I'm pretty sure that with this recipe online it said something about cilantro lime rice which I I think would be a lot better than just your traditional brown rice but I didn't have the time or nor did I want to make the cilantro lime rice so maybe next time i'll try that because i think that would add a lot of good flavor to this meal but i think one of the favorite things about this meal is that i could definitely meal prep this one like i could put what's left of this put it in some meal prep containers and take it for lunches or use it for other quick easy weeknight dinners and that's what i'm all about something that is quick and easy and healthy at the same time i love chicken is that your favorite food? This recipe is even more simple than the one before. And we've made this one before with roast instead of chicken, and it was called Mississippi Pot Roast. So I found this recipe and I thought it'd be really good to try with chicken. So you literally just throw everything in the crock pot and it's just a few ingredients. So it's chicken, you add to the bottom, then I sprinkled on a ranch seasoning packet, and then an au jus gravy seasoning packet, a stick of butter, and then some pepperoncini peppers, and I could be butchering that, so please forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, but you guys know what I mean, pepperoncinis, I think that's how you say it. But anyways, it's all really simple, and I set it on low to cook for about six to eight hours. And then when it was all done, I just shredded the chicken. And I need to come up with a better way of shredding chicken in a crock pot. But you know, usually it's so tender that it's not that difficult, but I've heard of other people using a hand mixer. Does that work? Let me know down below in the, the comment section if you guys have any hacks for shredding chicken in a crock pot. But then once all of the chicken was shredded, I just got some sub buns and put the chicken on there. And if you wanted to make this low carb, you could just eat it plain without the bun. There was plenty of flavor in the chicken, so you don't need a bun. And Mike even added some provolone cheese to his, so that could add more flavor, and it was really good. You could also serve it with some mashed potatoes and egg noodles, but I just wanted some broccoli to keep it healthier. And then for my last recipe and probably the meal that we all like the most, it was Crock-Pot Tuscan Chicken. So I started out by mixing some grated Parmesan cheese, some Italian seasoning, and Alfredo sauce in a bowl together. And the recipe did call for adding sun-dried tomatoes, but my husband is not a fan, and I can do without them, so I just omitted them completely. The recipe also called for making your own Alfredo sauce, which apparently is super easy to make on your own, but I just decided go the more simple route and I just use the jar Alfredo and then I put some butter in a skillet to just brown my chicken best really quickly. Then I just laid the chicken breast in the bottom of the crock pot, poured the Alfredo Italian seasoning and Parmesan cheese mix over the chicken and put it on low for about four hours. Mm -hmm. 
Once the chicken is cooked, there's really not much else you need to do but add in the spinach for a few minutes. You don't even need to shred or break up the chicken, but it was just so tender and I wanted ours in smaller pieces, so I just broke it up a little bit. And then I added in the spinach, the fresh spinach, and cooked it for another five minutes. Tuscan chicken is finally done. I think out of all of the recipes that I've done recently, this is our favorite. So without the sun-dried tomatoes, you don't have the red, the pop of red in here, but I'm not that concerned about how it looks. I'm more concerned about how it tastes. And I think that the Tuscan chicken is probably our favorite out of all three of these crockpot meals that I've tried this week. So I just paired it with some rice. So a lot of people, so with the recipe, it suggested putting it over noodles, and I'm not a big noodles fan, so I just added some brown rice and some broccoli. What do you think about the chicken? Mm -hmm. Does it taste good? Mm -hmm. Thumbs down! You can't thumbs it down! Yes. How about, th oh, wait, mm -hmm. is, it a, is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs up? Mm -mm. No thumbs up. <gasps> what? I think you're eating it, so I think that means it's a thumbs up. Give mommy a thumbs up. Mm. Yeah, so it's a thumbs up now? You silly girl. People are always asking me what I feed Avery. So she has some of the Tuscan chicken, some broccoli, and some blueberries, and some applesauce. So that's her dinner. But thank you guys so much for sticking around to the very end. And if you guys try any of these recipes, let me know down below or come follow me on Instagram and let me know. I love when you guys try the recipes that I give you and just, and you guys like them as much as we do. It makes me feel really good. So let me know on Instagram or on YouTube if you try these yummy crock pot recipes. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you want more of this because I love crock pot cooking and I will definitely do more. I